Hi guys. Hello, let me see if we're live. Hello. Welcome. Hi guys, so today we are going to be making these masks out of a t-shirt. So I'm gonna take this off so you can see me. And hi Thomas. So all you hi Tim. All you're going to need today is a t-shirt. And I chose a green one, of course, because I love the MP green. Hi, Ava. Hi, Tim. Thanks for joining. Okay. Next, you're going to need some scissors. I just have regular um, kitchen scissors, but if you have fabric scissors, that'll work well too. And this is optional, but you can also use um, some needle and thread to um, tie your straps in place so it won't be moving around. So I'm really excited. This took me about five minutes to make. So I hope that you guys will have some success when you make your masks. And if you need to go out and get groceries with your family or anything, or if you're um, just going outside to the park and there's a lot of people there, um, it's really beneficial that you're wearing a mask or some sort of face covering. So yeah, this is an easy way that you can use what you have from lying around at home to protect your face. So I'm gonna show you the mask that I made first. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm gonna show you guys the mask that I made first, and then I will walk you through the steps while you get your supplies. Again, all you need is a t-shirt that you don't mind cutting up, scissors, optional needle and thread. Okay, so the mask that I made, I used the other sleeve of the t-shirt, and all you do is cut off the sleeve, put the bottom strap in, and then put it around your head and tie it. So, that's all we're gonna be doing today. So if you're ready, I wanna see that um, you're ready and I will begin. Hi, Jamie! Good to see you. I love seeing baby Jonah. He looks so healthy and big. All right, we're gonna get started. So I have my big green t-shirt right here, our MP green. And what you're going to start with is you are going to get the sleeve all by itself. So we're getting the sleeve all by itself. Next, you get your scissors. And I'm gonna use a Sharpie to mark where you're going to cut so that you guys can have a guide for that. Yay, Thomas has all of his supplies. So with my marker, I'm going to mark where we're going to cut so it's easier to see. So right here is the seam of the sleeve. I'm going to cut right inside of the seam. So I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. Here's our seam and we're gonna cut right outside of it. So get your scissors. And if you need to use, hi, Genesis, you are a great big sister from what I see on Facebook. Okay, so you have your sleeve and you have your guide right here. And these are masks that you can make for friends or family members or really anyone in your neighborhood who um, needs a mask. Also, these are machine washable. You can toss them in the um, washing machine and you're good to go. So right now I'm just cutting along my black line. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Cutting the sleeves off. Okay. So now you should have this sleeve right here. And we just take the shirt and you move it to the side. Now you have a tank top to wear for later. Audrey is ready. And Tim said coffee hour. Yes, I've been having a lot of coffee, Tim. So now we have our sleeve. And what you're gonna do, this part's tricky, so pay attention. You take the short end of the sleeve and you're going to, I marked the seam for you guys right here. You're going to get this seam and you're going to move it towards the middle, okay? I'm gonna do that one more time so you guys can see it. So you have your sleeve right here 
freshly cut off. You're going to get your small seam, the small one right here, and you're going to pull it so that it's in the middle. And doesn't the shape look a little bit familiar too? That's like our MP logo kind of. Ooh, Ava's having iced coffee. I'm so jealous. I want some. Okay. So we have this fun little shape right here. So I bet you're wondering, how do we make the straps for our mask? Good question. You're gonna take your MP logo shape, and you're gonna move it aside, keep it exactly how it is. You're gonna bring your t-shirt out again. So this is, I'm not sure if you can tell, this is the very bottom of my t-shirt. So you're gonna get the bottom. And I'll do another line for you guys so you can see. And you don't need to be exact. You don't need to measure it perfectly. But I'm going to say about an inch in. So a good guide for an inch is if you take your finger, bend it, that's about an inch. And you're going to mark an inch on this side and an inch on this side. Okay. So you have your marking here, your marking here. And you're just going to cut straight across. The bottom. So see my markings? Genesis said, juice box, chef, blown mind, and a lot of letters. I love that. I hope you're making one of these at home, Miss Genesis. This is so easy and it'll be a fun craft for you to do with your mom. So you cut all the way across, straight line. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Cutting all the way across. Awesome. So now you should have this thin strap on the bottom of your t-shirt. And you move the big t-shirt away again. Okay, so let's bring back what we're working with. We have our sleeve, where you've moved the seam to the middle. We have our long strap, which we got from the bottom of the t-shirt. And this is great because it's really stretchy. So when you tie it around your head, you can stretch it, okay? So your big strap, you're gonna pull it like a big circle. You get your scissors and you're just gonna cut one side of it. So you end up with a really long strap. Just cut one side of it. Okay, now this part. Um, Tim, I hope I'm not making you cry. I'm hoping I'm making you happy by learning this. So you get your shape right here. You're getting your strap. So you're going to, if you want to turn it sideways, it might be a little bit easier. You're going to put your strap inside of your sleeve, just like this. So you have your rounded part up here and then your loose parts down here, and then you straighten it up. Can you guys see that? So we have our rounded side up here on both sides, and then we have our straight sides down here. So you should have this funny little shape right here. So now, this is where the optional sewing comes in. I'm gonna do it without sewing first, and then later I'll show you how you can sew it into place. But for now, you're gonna take this extra fabric, you're gonna fold it up like a little envelope, okay? And then you're gonna pull the straps a little bit. So where your optional show sewing comes in is right here. If you want to, you can sew along this line like I did in my mask. I sewed along the bottom line just so that my fabric doesn't come undone and I can and my straps can stay when I put them on my head. But for now, you don't need any sewing whatsoever. Another thing that I've learned just from reading about mask making was that people are using filters um, just to provide an extra lift for the germs whenever you're out there. So you can put a coffee filter, you can put any sort of filter that I've seen and this little pocket right here, you can slip it in for extra protection. And then when you go to wash your mask, you just take it out, throw it away, wash your hands, and then toss this in the machine.
So are we ready to put our mask on? I'm gonna show you how to put this on your face. So we fold this here, flip it over, and this one might require a little bit of assistance, but I will demonstrate how we put it on our face. So we have our rounded side at the top, and all you're going to do is put it over your head like this. And then you get these straps and you tighten and pull and tie behind your head. Can you guys see that? So you tie, just like so, a little bit. Your mask and you're ready to go out and go shopping and go to the park or to public and you know that your face is safe i can't really talk in this but you know that your face is safe from all the germs when you're done with it you untie it take it over your head and lay it down so there you go you have your mask made out of a t-shirt sleeve so if you choose to sew it together here's what you're going to do I have my needle pre-threaded right here. This is a great way just to practice sewing, um, get your fine motor skills back to work. I know a lot of us haven't been using pencils or really been holding a lot of things, writing a bunch at home. So this is a good way to use our fine motor skills. So I'm gonna fold this little envelope flap back up and I'm just gonna sew Right, I'm gonna remember what size it was when it was on my head. I want it to fit me perfectly. Fold this back up and just sew along the inside. Super simple. So this just keeps your little flap in place. And hand sewing is a really fun um, hobby to get into if you guys are wanting a new craft or um, hobby to do while you're at home. Hand sewing is really simple. You can do pillowcases or um, masks for your friends. There's a lot of fun sewing opportunities. And I also read that masks um, for being used out in public from protecting the germs, it's best to use like a cotton fabric. So if you plan on recreating this with other types of t-shirts and stuff, just make sure that it's a breathable fabric and that you can breathe in it and you don't find yourself feeling super claustrophobic and stuff. Okay, so I'm just doing a quick little sew. Just going in and out, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but a quick little sew, we're going over and under. That way this little flap can um, stay in touch. And I will demonstrate putting it on for you guys one more time. And then, you will have your completed t-shirt sleeve mask. Like I said, it does not need to be hand sewed and is not required, but if you're planning on washing this um, in the washing machine or giving it to a friend, it might be best that you sew it together just so that it doesn't um, come apart. So I'm completing my little knot. Just doing one big knot. It does not need to be perfect. I'm gonna cut off my excess thread. Okay, one more time, I'm gonna demonstrate putting this on my face. So we have our little loop up here, kind of looks like a purse, over your head, like so. And pull your straps behind your head, and then you tie it together, just like this. And if you need any assistance tying, just have someone help you. But yeah. So this part cinches it close to your face so that you don't get anything coming in from the sides, from the bottom, or for the top. All right, that is our mask. I hope you guys um, were able to be successful in making this. If not, come back later, rewatch this with a friend or family member so they can help you out. I'm going to take this off. And if you have a bunch of extra t-shirts lying around, actually after this, I'm going to make a really fun tie-dye mask for some friends. Um, if you have a bunch of extra t-shirts lying around, 
it'll be a great idea to make some for your friends or so that they're safe when they go out shopping and um, hanging out with people. So thank you for giving me your time. I hope that um, you learned something today and that you made a mask and that you guys are staying safe and healthy and washing your hands. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye, guys. Love you all. I'll see you later.